Elon Musk recently introduced a new Tesla bot, a robot designed to handle repetitive and dangerous activities for personal and commercial purposes. More than likely, this bot will address a variety of use cases such as space missions to Mars. Temperatures on Mars average about minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only that, on a long trip to Mars, humans are at risk of being exposed to high levels of harmful radiation. Tesla bots could assist with the initial space missions to Mars to mitigate the risk to humans. They could perform dangerous and repetitive activities like transporting equipment and parts on the Mars surface for endless weeks and months, setting up equipment on the Mars surface, and the maintenance and repairing of that equipment. There's also the issue of teaching those robots new skills. Currently, Tesla trains its automobiles to handle a high variety of driving situations by training the car AI in simulations of our real world. The car AI is presented with a multitude of unique driving situations to build its readiness for the randomness of real life. Similarly, the AI for Tesla bots could be trained to handle a multitude of unique situations in the simulated world. Toyota Research Institute has its own functional humanoid robot prototype, and it came up with another solution to this. Humans can use virtual reality headsets to see live data from their robots and remotely operate those robots. Using virtual reality headsets, humans can teach those robots new behaviors that are associated with objects and the robot's surrounding environment. Tesla could use virtual reality in a similar way. Or what's even more interesting, Tesla could use Neuralink implants to remotely control the Tesla bots with high responsiveness and exactness. That brings me to the next use case, transferring memories from humans to robots. Elon Musk shared some remarkable insights at his Neuralink event in 2020. But yeah, essentially, if, if you have a whole brain interface, everything that's encoded in memory, you could, uh, you could upload. You could basically store your memories um, as a backup and restore the memories. And ultimately, you could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. The future is going to be weird. And in 2021, the Neuralink company posted a video where it explained how they were able to record and predict the motor functions of a monkey playing a ping pong video game. They were able to mathematically model the relationship between patterns of neural activity and the various joystick movements those patterns produced. As a result, this monkey was able to control movements in the video game with only its thoughts. The ability to transfer memories and neural patterns from humans to Tesla bots opens up a ton of possibilities, like transferring individual memories to Tesla bots to quickly teach them specific skills requiring hand-eye coordination, transferring specific memories and skills from a Tesla bot to a human, and most mind-boggling of all, eventually having the ability to transfer a person's entire consciousness to a Tesla bot, which could, to a certain extent, allow that person to live forever. Number three, household work. In the future, a Tesla bot might perform basic manual work like folding laundry, packing lunch boxes, cleaning dishes, vacuum cleaning, and lawn mowing. Samsung already has a prototype that can perform many of these functions. This will give us more time to spend with our families, focus on more creative activities, and delve into our favorite hobbies. Number four, security and surveillance. A Tesla bot could be sold with a Tesla branded home security system or it could work seamlessly with popular security systems on the market via API. The entire package could include the bot itself, cameras, sensors, and the smartphone app. A Tesla bot could use machine vision, motion detection, and anomaly detection capabilities to ensure that if anything unusual occurs around your property, it will immediately notify you. For example, an anomaly detection feature would be particularly interesting because the bot could use all of its integrated cameras to intermediately scan the environment outside your home and its memory would easily retain all of the information down to the pixel level. If an unusual object such as a new parked car is within view of those cameras, you could immediately know about it. Tesla could also sell its robots for commercial purposes to patrol restricted areas, dangerous environments, and war zones so that its cameras could scan more sections of a surrounding environment than the normal camera could. Perhaps these robots could be fitted with night vision capabilities and temperature, gas, and radioactivity sensors. Number five, factory and warehouse work. A Tesla bot could perform basic and repetitive functions like moving boxes and crates, stacking boxes, and counting and auditing inventory. Number six, information and entertainment. 
According to this chart, a high percentage of people use Alexa for things like music, weather, news, and jokes. It would make sense for a home-based robot to also have the capability to perform activities, like suggesting helpful information related to specific situations, providing curated news and weather updates, playing a variety of audio clips, playing music, and telling jokes. Additionally, they may be programmed to perform functions like high fives and maybe even dance routines. New skills like this and more could be continually updated to Tesla bots from Tesla's data centers, similar to how software features are continually updated to Tesla cars. There could even be a marketplace where Tesla users could upload and sell various robot skills. Number seven, elderly and handicap assistance. According to a report by the United Nations, the global population aged 65 years and above was 703 million in 2020. The number of elderly people is projected to double by 2050 to reach 1.5 billion. Tesla bots could help with activities like moving elderly and disabled people from room to room, preparing medication, and alerting home care nurses or emergency services whenever a person is unresponsive. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch this next video about the 15 fastest growing industries of the future.